Hey guys, this is Amchi with, with another tutorial whether how we can record advanced customer payments in seven different ways in QuickBooks Desktop. Well, advanced customer payments, also known as prepayments or deposits, hold significant importance for both businesses and customers. And by receiving payments upfront, businesses reduce the risk of non-payment or late payment, as it is essential for businesses offering custom-made or expensive products. Anyhow. Many businesses use accounting softwares like QuickBooks to manage advanced payments effectively. These systems allow businesses to track customer prepayments, apply them to invoices, and generate reports for financial analysis and reporting. Anyhow, to record the advanced payments, open your company file, and the most used method for recording advanced payments is when a customer pays more than he owes the actual amount of an invoice. Like, if a customer owes you $100, and at the time of making payment, he pays you $150, creating $50 advance for future payment adjustments. So let's go to the customer center to see the balances. And here you can see that all customers have zero balances at this point in time. Now let's create an invoice. So to create an invoice, go to home page and click on create invoices. Here change the invoice template if you want. Then select your customer and make some changes according to your need. And then add some items. And to keep it simple, I'm adding just one item. and then click on save and close to create the invoice. Now let's go to receive payments and select your customer. Then select the invoice you are receiving your payment against. Let's suppose instead of paying the invoice price which is 300, the customer pays 350. And as soon as you add more than the actual amount of the invoice, QuickBooks gives you a prompt mentioning the overpayment which is $50 and gives us two options, either to leave the credit to be used later or refund the amount to the customer right away. And since we know that the customer paid us the advance payment to be used in future payments, we can just leave it as it is and record the payment by clicking on the save and close button after making the required changes. And as soon as you will click on the save and close button, it will give you a prompt mentioning that the overpayment will remain on the customer's account. So just click on OK to record the payment. Now go to the record deposits and select the payment we have just received. Here select your bank account, change the date, write some memo if it's needed and you click on save and close to deposit the amount. Now let's go to the customer center to see the balances. And here you can see that this customer has a negative $50 balance which means he paid some advance payment. And you can select your balance details here to see the customer balances too. And the second method is to use the receive payments window directly without creating an invoice. So, go to Receive Payments and select your customer. And as soon as you will select the customer, QuickBooks will inform you about the existing credit this customer has. So, add the amount, let's suppose $100. Then, change the date, write the check number, and click on Save and Close to record the payment. Then go to record deposits to deposit it to the concerned bank account. Now let's go to the customer center to see the balances. And here you can see that this customer has now a negative $150 balance. Now, the third method is to eliminate the undeposited funds account and receiving the payment directly into the concerned bank account. 
So go to receive payments and select your customer. And as soon as you will select the customer, it will inform you about the credit this customer has. And here you can see that QuickBooks is posing a question, where does this payment go? Instead of giving us a field where we can see where exactly this payment goes. And from the previous payments, we learned that as soon as we record a payment, it goes to the undeposited funds account. So clear it. And to remove the undeposited funds account, go to preferences under edit menu and select payments. Here under company preferences tab, uncheck this checkbox which says use undeposited fund as a default deposit to account and then click on OK. Here QuickBooks is informing you that it has to close all the open windows to change these preferences. Just click on OK and it will close all the open windows. Now click on home on the side menu and go to the receive payments. And here you can see that instead of posing a question like before, it's showing a field where you can select the bank account directly. Now select your customer and make changes according to your need. and then select the bank account you want your payment to go. Then click on save and close to record the payment. And when you go to record deposits, it does not show the amount here. Instead, it's showing in the bank account we have selected. Now let's go to the customer center to see the balances. And here you can see that this customer has now a negative $300 balance. Now the fourth method to record the advance payment is by creating a journal journal entry. So to create a general journal entry, select make general journal entries under company menu. Here change your date and write the entry number. Then select your bank account and write the amount in the debit column because you are receiving this amount. And then select the accounts receivable account and write the amount in the credit column because it is increasing your liability in terms of advance payments. Then write the memo and to make it clear whether who paid this advance payment, select the concerned customer here and in this case it was our fictitious customer named Finn. Then record the transaction by clicking on the save and close button. Now let's go to the customer center to see the balances. And here you can see that this customer has now a negative $500 balance. Now the fifth method of recording the advance payment is using the record deposit window. So go to record deposit and close this window. Then select your concerned bank account and change the date. Then under Receive From column, select your customer. And under From Account column, select Accounts Receivable Account. Then write the memo and check number. And then select the payment method and write the advance payment amount. Then click on Save and Close to record the transaction. Now let's go to the customer center to see the balances. And here you can see that this customer has now a negative $950 balance. 
Now, the sixth method of recording the advance payment is using the bank account register. So, go to the chart of accounts and select your concerned bank account. Here, change the date and select the customer you received the advance payment from. Then, select the accounts receivable account in this field. Then, write the amount under the deposit column because you are receiving this amount. Let's say $650. Then, uncheck this checkbox to expand it and write the memo if you want. and then click on record button to record the transaction. And here you can see the recorded transaction. Now let's go to the customer center to see the balances. And here you can see that this customer has now a negative $1,600 balance. Now let's create an invoice to apply a part of this credit and then we will move to the last method. So go to the home page and click on create invoices. Then select your customer and make changes according to your need. Now the invoices of 1500 but the credit or advance amount is of 1600 which we can apply to this invoice right away by clicking on apply credit button but instead of applying credit here i will apply it to while receiving payment so click on save and close to create this invoice then go to receive payments and select your customer And as soon as you will select the customer, QuickBooks will show you the credit balance here. Now select the invoice, change the date and write the check number. Now we can apply the credit balance by clicking on the discounts and credit option. Here on this window under credits tab, we have all the credit amount transactions we just made and we can just select the ones we want to apply. And after covering the invoice amount, which is 1500, it is showing the remaining credit balance, which is $100. And also, you can change the amount if you want to. Since I don't want to, I'm just keeping it as it is and then click on done to apply the credit amount and here you can see that the credit amount has been applied to this payment and the total amount of this payment has gone down to zero leaving the hundred dollar credit balance behind then click on save and close to record the payment and when you go to the record deposit it does not show it here And when you go to the customer center to see the balances, it shows the negative $100 balance here. And when you go to this invoice by double clicking on it, it shows that it's been paid. Now, the seventh method of recording the advance payment is by creating sales receipts. So, before recording the advance payment by creating sales receipt, we need to set up a relevant account under chart of accounts and relevant item under items list. So, go to chart of accounts and click on new under account. Here, you need to select other current liabilities account type because this is the amount a business is receiving before delivering the goods or services. and then click on continue. Here you can name it like prepayment, advanced customer payments, prepaid income, advanced deposits, whatever you think is convenient for you. 
Just name it and write some description if you want and then click on save and close to create the account. Then go to items list under list menu. Here click on new under item and the item type would be services and then write its name and description. Here it's non-taxable and then map it with the account we just created named customer prepayments under chart of accounts as other current liabilities and then click on OK to create the item. Now the relevant account and item have just been set up and we can record advanced payments by creating sales receipts. So go to home page and click on create sales receipts. Here, select your customer and make changes according to your need. And in the item field, select the item we have just created under items list named customer prepayments. And you can overwrite its description if you want. And then write the amount you received in advance. Let's suppose $500. And then click on save and close to create the receipt. Now go to the customer center to see the balances. And when you select all transactions, you will see the sales receipt just created. Now, go to the record deposit window on the home page to deposit the sales receipt amount into your concerned bank account after making the required changes. And when you go to chart of accounts and open the concerned bank account, here you can see the amount we've just deposited. And when you go to customer prepayments, you can see the advance payment received from FIN increased. Now let's apply the advance amount to an invoice. So go to create invoices and select your customer. Then after changing the date and other options, add some items. Then to apply the advance amount, select the item we created as customer prepayments and add its amount negatively. Then click on save and close to record the invoice. Now let's go to receive payments and select your customer. Then select the invoice you are receiving your payment against. Then change the date and add the check number. And let's apply this credit amount to this invoice. And then click on done. And here you can see that this credit amount has been applied to this invoice. Now click on save and close to record this payment. Now go to record deposit window to deposit the amount into your concerned bank account. And when you go to customer center to see the balances, it shows zero balance because the $100 advance amount had been applied while receiving the payment. And when you go to customer prepayment under chart of accounts, 
Here you can see that the advance payment from Finn has decreased by $250, which we applied as a line item while creating the invoice, which means that Finn still has an advance amount of $250. And when the advance customer prepayments are handled appropriately, they contribute to the financial health of a business, reduce uncertainty, and foster the trust and commitment between the business and their customers. And this is how you can record advanced customer payments in seven different ways in QuickBooks Desktop. And if you have stayed this far, please consider supporting by liking, subscribing, and sharing your thoughts in the comment section. And I hope this will be helpful for someone out there. And thanks for watching.